Morning News. But first this morning, let's begin with a live look outside. Julian, it is cold this morning. Oh my gosh. You know, if you can stay in bed for just a little longer this morning, that's probably a really good idea. We are talking about sub zero temperatures. It does not feel pleasant. <laughs> yeah. Make sure yeah. you dress for the weather. I mean, lots of layers, gloves, hat, scarf, Liz, just the whole thing. Yeah, make sure you have everything. I mean, luckily, I will say at the very least with it being MLK Day, there's a lot of schools and businesses that are closed for the day. So that's true. That's a really great thing for this Monday. But for everyone else who has to venture out, we're with you. We've been there, we've done it, and it's uh, maybe not the most pleasant this morning. Today and tomorrow, still first alert weather days because of the cold exposure. This Arctic dip has really come in, and you can really see where it's packed a punch in the form of wind chills specifically. This is just air temperatures right now. So what you're going to see on the thermometer is anything from minus four here in Fort Wayne, zero in Paulding at the absolute best we have on the map, Minus eight up in Angola, minus eight in Columbia City, minus six in Rowan at the moment. But this all in all is not the prettiest picture. And of course, you factor in some wind, and this is where we see the major toll. At worst, wind chills this morning stretch anything from minus 20 in Fort Wayne to minus 23 up in Angola. And across the area, we will see these bitter wind chills really stick around all day long. The worst will be during the mornings where we could be in the minus 20s. Later today, though, we are still sticking with sub-zero status when it comes to wind chills all day long. And highs today still stay in the single digits. We'll talk the latest on the cold exposure, how long it's looking to stick around, and some of the wind alerts in place coming up in my first alert weather forecast. Okay, Liz, we know you are keeping us updated. Thank you so much.